Hello everybody, my name is James and today I'm going to be discussing validation errors. It's a short video but I will be providing a quick overview of what is a validation error, how the plugin handles validation errors and the options you have when you come across a validation error. So with that being said, let's dive right in. In order to understand validation errors, users must be familiar with the concepts of AMP itself. The AMP framework is really a superset of regular HTML. To encourage web development best practices, there are a few key and strict guidelines users must follow. These include rules such as restrictions on custom JavaScript, no inline CSS and a CSS budget, and AMP elements in place of regular HTML elements in some cases. Any features on an AMP URL that don't comply with these guidelines will result in validation errors. You can see a full list of guidelines and principles over on amp.dev. In the video, you'll see an example of the AMP plugin automatically removing validation errors from AMP URLs. The plugin's validation tool can automatically remove any validation errors found on your AMP URLs in order to ensure fully AMP valid content. If users wish to do so, they can choose to keep any validation errors found on AMP URLs. The end result of doing so is these URLs won't be fully AMP valid. If you have the WordPress admin toolbar open, you can use the AMP tab to check the validation status of your current URL. You can also use this tab to navigate between the AMP and non-AMP version of your current URL. Providing you have the Enable Developer Tools option enabled within the AMP plugin settings, you'll be able to easily see any features of your site that are not AMP compatible. This setting, which is enabled by default, adds an error index and validated URLs tab within the AMP plugins dashboard menu. You can use the error index tab to list all validation errors across your site, and you can use the validated URLs tab to see errors on an individual URL basis. If you want to keep a feature, plugin, or markup running on AMP URLs, even though it results in validation error, you have the choice to do so within the plugin. Using the plugin's admin toolbar feature or the validated URLs tab, you can simply navigate to any particular validation error and choose to keep that error. When doing so, you're informing the plugin to keep this running on AMP URLs. Such URLs won't be fully AMP valid. Validation errors are often caused by third-party themes or plugins. If this is the case, you have quite a few options. Firstly, you could use the plugin suppression tool to limit plugins functionality on AMP URLs. You can contact plugin or theme authors and inquire about AMP compatibility. You could look for AMP compatible alternatives for the plugin or theme you're using. In many cases, you can use an AMP component in place of the theme or functionality you're using. Another option is to correct any validation errors yourself with plenty of documentation on the plugin website. And you can also disable AMP on a page or post individually or use the plugin to restrict AMP to particular content types or templates. If you're using the plugin and you require further assistance, be sure to check out the plugin website or reach out to us in the WordPress support forums where we're always happy to help. I'm James, thanks for watching.